Geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... How fossils are formed. The process of making a fossil is called fossilisation, which is the process of turning a dead organism into preserved remains. This process does not take 100 years, or even 1,000 years. To be a fossil, the remains have to be over 10,000 years old, with most fossils being millions of years old. Wow! The process of fossilisation, starting millions of years ago, and possibly continuing up until today, involves a series of steps, which start a long time ago, often millions of years ago, where, for example, there was some land, upon which a dinosaur lived. Our first step. But then, our dinosaur died. Our second step of fossilisation. But when the dinosaur died, what we did not want to happen is other dinosaurs eating our dinosaur. Because nothing will remain of our dinosaur, so no fossil can form. Our dead dinosaur will have its soft parts decay or rot away, such as flesh or skin, leaving only its skeleton. But what we do not want to happen is a storm washing away the bones, leaving nothing left to fossilise. So what we do want is for our skeleton to be buried, the third step of fossilisation. Our skeleton could be buried by a rockfall or mudslide, so stopping scavengers, decay or storms from destroying our skeleton. We then have the next step of further burial. Over time, many thousands or millions of years, Continued rockfalls or mudslides deposit more layers of sediment above our layer, further burying our layer. The weight of the overlying sediment, combined with groundwaters, lead to our next step of the skeleton and the sediments around it being altered, with sand turning to sandstone, mud to mudstone, and organisms to stone, this process taking a long time, perhaps millions of years. At the last step, in this case today, the processes of weathering, combined with the powers of erosion, expose our dinosaur fossil at the Earth's surface for us to find. That's amazing! So the steps of fossilisation are the organism lived, the organism died, the soft parts decayed, the organism was buried for a long time, during which it became altered and turned to stone, when, some time later, it was exposed at the surface for us to find today. Please do watch our Geology and the Jiffy videos about using fossils and trace fossils. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!